Hello my fabulous people. Hope everything is good with you. So today I wanted to try something a little bit more different. I've been seeing on YouTube that everybody been doing the video which is about just products that they panned. And so I decided to do that video and everything. I noticed that I have a lot of things. Well not a lot of things. But I have quite a few makeup products that have hit pan and y'all guys know how good it feels to hit pan on your makeup products so we're gonna go straight into the video so yeah the first thing that I hit pan is my L'Oreal True Mess Super Blendable Powder and this is the pan that I hit this has been pan for quite a bit um, for a while I did not use it because I don't know I just was liking just wearing my foundation without setting and all that so I felt like it was doing too much now I like to wear this like by itself so that's what I do mainly I wear this by itself um, I like this powder it's not my favorite powder but I do like it quite a bit oh yeah and I am in the color C6 the next product that I hit pan on was my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. I had for quite a bit long time and um, I did hit pan on this one. This is like the only one I really hit pan. You could say I kind of hit pan on this but really I dropped it and a little bit of it chopped out so it was Pan, but this doesn't really count for me personally but this one does count I love this color this is one of my favorite colors in a whole palette um this is one of my favorite palettes but um, I have other palettes that I really, really like too I haven't really been wearing this as much but nonetheless I do love it this product is the NYX blush in the color cinnamon because there's no glass that's how long I had it packages be broken that's when you know you had a product for a very long time when the package all broken up and everything but this I love this blush so much it's one of my favorite blushes this took a long time to pen I had this blush for years yeah I can actually say that for years like and it finally panned it's a beautiful color for like the spring and summertime. I even wore it at times for like winter. I still wear it, but I, lately I've been wearing like um, my wet and wild one. And I've just been putting this aside, but definitely for sure, knowing that spring is coming up, this is definitely going to be worn again. And hopefully, I can hit more pan. The next product is my e.l.f. Contour and Blush and Bronzing Powder. This one, guys, uh, this, guys, I really do adore. I love the bronzing. Now, I do not really um, contour a whole lot. Only on certain time, on certain days where I just feel like being a little extra that I might contour. This did not take long to hit pan on, as shockingly as it did. It did not. And the blush, at first, I was not using, and now I'm starting to use it because I see that I actually do like this blush. It is nice. This is such a good and affordable blush and contour palette. Um, if you don't have that much money, definitely e.l.f. is your best shot. They have nice quality things and they're very affordable, so why not? Buddy? The next thing I have is my Wet n Wild blush in the color Mellow Wine. Mellow Wine? In the color Mellow Wine. <laughs> so this is it. I had this blush for a minute, or you could say maybe like a year, a year and a half, and everything. And I was using, because I had gotten like two blushes, and I was using another blush in Wet n Wild. And I wasn't so comfortable wearing this blush for a bit, 
but then I just started wearing it and now I absolutely love it. It's great for the fall and winter and that's mainly why I've been wearing it for the fall and winter and stuff. It's just absolutely a beautiful color and yeah. And it's very affordable too. Most of the things, just about all the things I'm talking about is very affordable. You could definitely get it from the drugstore and stuff. So the next product is my Complete Coverage Concealer, my ELF Complete Coverage Concealer. And um, as y'all guys see, I pan quite a bit of this product. Um, this was the one I was working on. This one. And as you can see, it's pretty much finished. It's still a teeny, 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 teeny bit left. I don't know y'all can see that, but here it is. It's just a teeny, teeny bit left. And then I have to finish this one. Um, I use this, as everybody know, I use this for primer. So I use this to prime my eyes. And if nobody knows, you can use concealer to prime your eyes if you don't have an eye primer. It works just as good and it's affordable so why not right? and the last thing that I have hit pan on was my Coastal Scents Forever Blood Sample um, and Romantic and Glamorous so the one that I hit pan on was Romantic as you guys know and if you don't I will tell you guys now I do not use this as blush I use these as eyeshadows and I've been absolutely loving these as eyeshadows I've been wearing like these colors on my crease and they just been absolutely beautiful I don't wear it as much now cuz now I'm like I don't know I don't wear that much on my crease anymore I don't know why probably because I, I just get lazy sometimes and I just don't feel like doing it that extra step so I just wear just one color all over my lid and call it a day but this is one of my favorites and I am definitely probably wear this this spring coming up and summertime okay guys that is the end of this video um, thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please thumb this video up and don't forget to subscribe and remember to stay real and fabulous thank you guys for the support comment below of if you guys have seen or have these type of makeup products and have y'all guys panned it just have a nice conversation down below and I do comment back and I love seeing y'all guys comment it just brings great warmth in my heart like y'all really do like my videos <laughs> no I'm just kidding no but um yeah it really brings warmth in my heart to see y'all guys comment and have a conversation with me and all I haven't filmed in a bit because really the videos that y'all guys see be pre-recorded and I probably film like about three videos in that day. So really that means knowing that I post every week on Wednesday and so that'd be like three weeks. So it'd be like three weeks me not seeing y'all guys. So I do be happy to finally talk to y'all guys and to have a conversation with y'all and show y'all guys the things that y'all guys like. If y'all want to see um, whatever videos that y'all want me to do, please comment below. Tell me the type of videos y'all guys want me to do so I can know and start doing them. <laughs> and thank you guys so much. Like I said, remember to stay real and fabulous and I will talk to y'all guys next time. Mwah! Bye.